How many of you guys think it's okay for a woman to have a high body count? Raise your hands if you think it's okay. Why does it matter? Okay, so it doesn't matter. So it's okay. So two, two, if you're clean, three, four. I mean, any, can we raise the hands nice and high so the audience can see <laughs> who thinks it's okay? Okay, so... Uh, not that four. it's okay. Four. Yeah, five. exactly. No, not that it's okay, matter. but... Why do we care? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, like, I mean, so honestly, you know what? I'm going to raise my... I think it's because I ain't... Okay. Let me... I'm going to raise my hand. Okay, so that's <laughs> six. Okay. So okay. that's six of you guys think it's okay. It's not a problem. Okay. Um, then... Um, he said, now he said, it's not a problem. Let me put my hand down. Because he said, if you think it's okay, like, I'm not judging nobody. Anybody, I'm not oh, judging wait, anybody. It's okay. But, I mean, okay and not a problem are what you know, I would choose? the same thing, essentially. No. No. Because if yeah. it's a problem, then, you know, I'm going to put my hand down. I mean, like, there's things that are beneficial. What is the okay problem? No, nah, no. Nah, it don't have to be a problem. It doesn't have to be a problem. I mean, we don't know your body I think my whole that. thinking is that people can lie. So, would you really ever know? Exactly. Exactly. If they're being honest, that's exactly. my thing. Because it doesn't everybody, really matter. Like, me personally, I grow from things, so people can grow from things. Like it, it don't have to be a problem in that person's life specific individually. I think it's that's important crazy. to be yeah, safe. Well. So, so, yeah, so you're saying so so it's okay, which is it's fine. Okay. Yeah. But you do understand that saying something is okay is the equivalent to saying it's not a problem because a problem means it's not okay. Mm -hmm. You, however you want to think about it, but like I just said, like I just said what I said. Like, I, I don't think Come it's a problem. I'm not judging nobody. Come on, I see. I'm not judging nobody. I don't think it's a problem because if you can grow from it, then you okay. it's not a problem. So in other words, you think it's okay. Cool. Uh, That's why I raised then my he's head, saying, uh, you grow from it. Why do individually. you feel comfortable being seen in public with hoes? Well, that answers your question because they don't think it's a problem. Yeah. There you go. Um, it's Panther. Because uh, I don't judge nobody. I yeah. pray for them. I don't judge them. Exactly. But you I think do. if you're out with a girl who like, I don't know, like I don't really have a lot of hoe friends, but if I did have hoe friends, I feel like they respect my boundaries when we out. They're not yeah, going to do the hoe shit around me because I'm going to be like, uh, but can uh, you admit that exactly. having hoe friends, you're going to be in certain environments where may not want to be. Oh, shit, gonna happen. Absolutely. So, so ultimately, you're still in that environment, which means you might be considered one, too. Yeah. Just like, I, mean, like me I mean, I don't, I don't have care. a lot of whole friends, but if I see a man out and I know he'd be out in the streets, I'm gonna assume that everybody he with out in the streets, too. Like, so it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, agree. question, why do you not hang out with um, girls that are hoes if it's not a problem? Uh, it's just not my lifestyle, and if I don't agree with you, what you do, I just don't want to hang out with you. Like, if I, if you smoke crack, I'm not gonna hang out with you because I don't smoke crack. Like, okay, so you don't, so you think it's not, not uh, smoking crack is not okay then? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but why don't you have hoes if you don't think being a hoe is? If you think being a hoe is okay, why not have hoes? No, friends? I'm not saying being a hoe is okay. I'm just saying I don't care. Where's I'm not gonna. A second ago. Yeah, because I don't have a problem with it because I'm not gonna ask you your body count. Like, I don't care. Like, don't I'm not care. gonna be That's like, oh, what's your, how many oh, have you? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, those actions though, like how they move. You could, you could tell though. Yeah, but are you sure? If their that, lifestyle though? does not blend with my lifestyle, then we can't be friends. Exactly. But if your lifestyle being a whole interf interferes with my lifestyle, we gonna we gonna have some distance. Because what if my friends because do my lifestyle shit. is not the same, so we gonna have some distance. But I don't judge you. I love you at the end of the day because everybody has their own individual life. And for if you in my presence, it's a reason for that. And all I could do is pray for you. Like okay. what if like, you do your whole different. stuff after hours? Everybody different. So not around. If you me. praying for them, that means it's clearly not okay. <laughs> If they grow from it, it's, it's part of their story. It's okay. They're, they're meant to go through it so they can grow and be the person they meant to be. Why not okay, just avoid just it all avoid together? It. Because we don't know that. We're humans. We're stupid. So we do stupid shit. Like, we don't know what the fuck we getting into. So I guess it isn't okay then. No, I agree. If it's you. part of your growth, it's okay. And that's that. But how would you know it's part of your growth? Because you see the, you see the fruits. You see somebody, like, grow from it, then... You see, like, you don't know until you see their story. Like, you don't, you can't judge nobody because you don't know what's going on in that moment. Uh, how would it be fair to say like just never go through it? For example, let's say I decide to start smoking crack and <laughs> I do it for three years and I realize, damn, you know what? I want to quit this and uh, I'm going to grow from this. And I actually do grow from it. There's That's fine. It. it was Hold part on. of your story. But you okay, still look but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. What if I never got over it and I stay addicted for years, which most people end up in the latter? Then you're exam you're an example of that lifestyle. It's only one of you, and you're gonna be that example. So mm -hmm. other people that you meant to bless to by seeing your story, they're not gonna do the same thing. They're not gonna have the same exact life as you. They so still, would it be fair to say it's a problem if most people aren't gonna be individually? Real if you don't grow from it, it's a problem. If you grow from it, it's it's not a problem. I feel like either way they still gonna call you a crackhead. Either way, you still gonna be a hoe, even if you get married and you was a hoe <laughs> back in the day. Can you admit that, like, there's not too many reformed hoes? 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, but I, I disagree with that because what about women or men who've been through sexual assault and they are these people okay. who've had sexual assault happen to them, they become hypersexual. Another level, and so they're hoes on the street, men and women, right? And then they find the person that they're supposed to be with and they are reformed. They settle down and they realize what they did in the past was wrong. They become the example <laughs> that you were just speaking in. of. They grew from their past experiences, realized it was wrong at the time, but that doesn't make them a bad person for what they were doing at that time. They just were trying to learn. It was a learning process for them. It was I, beneficial. I think so I should accept the, the girl action. regardless of her past. How's that fair? I think so. I think we should. So I'm a very open person. I look at everyone's past <laughs> yeah. because we don't know what their circumstances were growing up. We don't know what their lifestyles were. Does that make them a quality person? Not necessarily. They could be deep down and they just have to open that up. So they should be accepted. Um. For me, I accept almost anyone unless they directly we affect know. my lifestyle. Okay. Well, do the rest of you guys agree with that? That, uh, you know, a girl that maybe has a shady past with promiscuity should be accepted by men? Yes. Mm, I, I think mean, if she I mean, Nelson, it's okay. So Every, by extension. Wait, man. Every man has their own opinion. So if that man does not want to choose her, then he does not have to. Everybody has free will. Well, we're, exactly. We're, human beings are way more alike than people tend to want to admit. Do you think in uh, a woman that has a, a checkered past with being promiscuous deserves to be accepted by a majority of men for a serious relationship? I think yes she or no? Yes. Yes? No, by a majority of men. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I've been told by men to lie about body count. Okay. <laughs> yes. well, wouldn't that prove that having a high body count will disqualify you? Exactly. Yes, that's why I'm agreeing with you. I am agreeing with you that men will look down on us. Okay, so you're saying, it. no, she shouldn't be accepted. Yeah. Oh, she right, shouldn't no, be. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, do you think well, she, they should be accepted with a high body count? Yes. Yes, okay. It's just dependent everything. Like, for example, what if when she was younger, she Just was... yes or no, should she be accepted with her past? Having with her being past? promiscuous yes. in the past? She should be. Yes. Okay, what about you? Um, no. No? Okay. Raise your hands real quick. The girl said, said yes one more time. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Okay. Let me ask you guys a question. Let's say you meet a guy. Everything is going great. And then you find out that, you know, he used to suck dick every now and then. <laughs> like back God. in the day. That's Should that guy be accepted? <laughs> no, that's my sexual uh, preference. I don't yeah. like queer. Okay. I don't, I don't like, like gay guys. I don't yeah, like okay. gay. All right. What about you? Should he be accepted? No. Okay. Should he be accepted? No. No. no well, you said no already. Mm -hmm. No. Interesting how they will go ahead and hold so, a man's past against him, but but if a man holds his past, different. No, no, it's it's different. 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 So Absolutely. then, ooh. Okay, well, then, yeah, what I've realized is that, see, it's very interesting. Perfect. I don't know if y'all realized it, but we just kind of got you guys with the trap card here um, with the fe female logic, right? You triggered my trap card! On one hand, you guys are saying women should be accepted regardless of their past, right? But then on the other hand, when I put it, okay, should a man be accepted regardless of his past? And you guys are like, no. And I find it interesting because men typically don't want women that are promiscuous. Women typically don't want men that are homosexual. Mm -hmm. So why does one's past matter way more? I would argue that a gay man is the functional equivalent to a very promiscuous woman. Mm. I agree. And you with said it you. earlier. Okay. Sexual preference. Mm -hmm. So a guy would would prefer on paper. You know what? Less bodies, more clean. I want that. But I mean, y'all see Absolutely. what I mean here, right? Like a woman is ex expected to, you know, be accepted regardless of her past. But if a man went ahead and tried to play that game, he would never get accepted. Well, see, what I was I saying was, I think type. everybody should be accepted. Men, women, whatever. I just think it's a preference. I've had this conversation with one of my friends from college, and we ain't friends anymore because she feel like I'm. I, can, I don't know if I can say this right. Hmm? No. no. Okay. Well, okay. We got into it well, because she give feels... Give us a clean version of yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, not cool with the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like the people on the other team. Yeah. yeah, she okay. thinks I should right. date men who are open and like all types of things. And I disagree with that because that's not my preference. But so, the, if you notice, right, you made a very good point there. It's not your preference. So, for example, let's say I had to beat the odds and a girl's being like, 20 dudes her std chances are way higher than 
girl's been with one dude. Mm-hmm. So same thing with a guy that's open, his chances of getting certain things like mm-hmm. AIDS yeah. is hard because you get in the butt. Mm-hmm. So it's like preference once what? again. <laughs> yeah. 